Stay with us because next, our celebrity historian friend Rafi stops by to give us the history of the 4th of July, including George Washington's rules for civility and how you can party like a revolutionary. That's coming up right after this short break. Keep it right here for more Good Day in WA. As we begin to gather for food and fireworks to celebrate another birthday for our nation, there's no better time to remind ourselves of the social etiquette from the father of our country, George Washington, as we eat, drink, talk, and enjoy the show. Celebrity historian Rafi Andonian, or shall I say George Washington. George Washington with a fade. <laughs> George Washington with a fade is back to share a few of his rules of civility and decent behavior in company and conversation. Rafi, thanks for being here. Of course, thank you. Could you have brought a more American spread? We've That's got right. cookies, hot dogs, Budweiser. Thematic, even a copy of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, absolutely yeah. amazing. And then look at you. Of course, you got to celebrate the occasion, right? Yes. So, so let's talk about those rules of civility. You got it. So what, there's 110 of these rules that he has. Wow. And he was okay. a teenager when he put it together. And he was kind of going around asking folks about kind of look, observing, asking, also consulting a 16th century judge. As with uh, guidance, so he was looking at some old texts as well, and okay. he pulled this together according to him. So we're going to pick a few and talk yeah, about them. Let's talk about them and how you can follow them, applicable still today. Okay. So the first one I want to highlight is he says, um, eat, "Eat not, drink not, nor talk with your mouth full." What do you so, mean? What are you talking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> and then he says. Now you know exactly what you shouldn't do when mm -hmm. you're at the Fourth of July, we're demonstrating right? Demonstrating what you don't. Do. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Then he says, if you talk about, it, don't drink when your mouth is still full. Okay. So we got some rules of civility beer here. Okay. Yeah. Is that Being a real the, thing? It is a real thing. You rules didn't just of civility print this beer. Label no, for us I didn't look it up. I even got the rules of civility um, uh, glasses here well, to match. Amazing. Exactly. Okay. So this is a thing. Real George Washington is still a trendsetter. Yeah. You know, his it beer is. is still made today. I'm okay. in Virginia where he's from. So it says, Jeez. drink now with your mouth full. Well. I know you've done this when you're at a grill yeah. and you're still chewing and you start drinking. It's not what you want to do. Right. Another rule we should talk about. Yes. He says, put not another bite in your mouth till the former be swallowed. So I haven't finished yet. Oh, well, you don't start. Okay. Don't keep going with it. Don't keep going until. Okay. Well, so then this is what happens, right? Right. This is not why George Washington founded this country. You don't want to look like <laughs> you don't this in look America. Like this. You don't want to get a mustard mustache. That's right. Uh, he did not found the country <laughs> for that, you know? That's right. Now, the other rule. It's really fascinating is it says, speak not evil of the absent, for it is unjust. So what he's saying is don't talk people behind people's back in a bad way, right? So you're gathering, speak not evil of the absent, for it is unjust. Because it's not fair that they don't have a voice. So don't talk about the neighbors across the street that aren't there, your friends that are not there. So this is like gossiping, right? Yeah, like don't gossip. Can, yeah. That's what he's saying, okay. you know? And we love those gossip columns. Well, be careful and keep them out of your area. If you want to follow George Washington, don't do it about each other. And finally... And finally, he says, um, be not hasty to believe flying reports to the disparagement of any. What that what means that is mean? if you do hear something okay. like that, flying reports to the disparagement, disparaging somebody, be not hasty to believe it. Don't just believe what you heard, the okay. gossip or whatever it is, right. right? In other words, what he wants you to do instead is to Google it. Right. That's what you got to do. That's Find you know, he, yeah, Exactly. Go research. on Google. Yeah, George Washington and Google. Yeah. Yes, I love that. <laughs> but, He's saying that you know you have to be careful. These are these are these behaviors that we're talking about for company and comfort conversation, decent behavior as he's talking about. So I think his rules can still apply, even yeah. as you gather around the grill, enjoy some beer and hot dogs. Yeah. Or maybe even if you pull out your copy of the Declaration <laughs> of Independence has right an here. Old copy of Everybody has a copy sitting right. around, yeah. right? This yes. is part of the theme to celebrate. Of course, he helped win this independence. So why it. not celebrate? Winning this independence by following his rules this 4th of July. I love that. What's your favorite celebration in the 4th of July? What do you like most about the holiday? I actually like all the American flag type gear. Because yeah. we got beer with American flag. We got cookies with American flag. It's kind of the, you know, it's a time of the year where you can do that and get away with it. Yes, and, sure. and I'll just say one more thing on celebrating the 4th of July. It was really important to the founding fathers. Funny enough, two of them, both Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, who later be, went on to become political rivals, but yeah. were together in the American sure. Revolution, died on the same day on the 50-year anniversary of July 4th, 
wow. from July 4th, 1826. So 50th year anniversary of the Independence Day. On the same day and on the anniversary of Independence Day, and to make it even crazier, five years later, James Monroe, our fifth president, also died on July oh 4th. Oh my gosh. So a lot of a big lot important of day in remembering it. Hey, and you know Rafi's got a few books out there too. If you want to check out any more from Rafi, be sure to pick out a copy of this That's book right. right here. One of my books on the debates on the Constitution. That's I right. So that. this is an era that I know very well. I study it very much. And and th that is about, you know, uh, um, the different opinions that the founding fathers had about the Constitution. Believe it or not, they did not all agree ah, on the Constitution. It. Much like we might imagine there might be a debate exactly about how to behave properly around a grill as That's well. That's right. Well, I know one <laughs> thing. I'm about to keep enjoying this hot dog. Thanks for joining us. Thank and you. filling us in on the 4th of July. Cheers to America. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to America. Happy birthday. Stick around. We've got more good day after this.